All right. All right, we have the timer going. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, my name is Ed Stone. Uh, I'm a school adjustment counselor here at Northampton High School. Excellent, excellent. And you have freshmen on your docket, right? I do, yeah. Yeah, yep. cool. What do you like about freshmen, working with freshmen? Uh, yeah, I like, um, I just like working with young people in general. Freshmen, I think, are generally um, a mix of excited and maybe a little bit nervous as well, not, sh not being sure what to expect. Um, needing to figure out kind of the lay of the land, how to navigate different things. And so I look forward to um, just working with young people who are in that stage in their lives where they're figuring out who they want to be. And I think uh, freshman year is, is synonymous with that. Oh, yeah. And it's fun to see them grow up too, isn't it? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I mean, year, freshman year to senior year, there's a lot of changes that can happen. I think outside of zero to four, it's probably your biggest change in your life right mm -hmm. from 14 yeah, to 18 sure. i mean um i see kids all the time both physically and emotionally uh, academically grow in ways that you just would never imagine really possible definitely yeah. Yeah. and the level of responsibility that increases as you go you know once you hit high school there's a little bit more um a little bit more choice a little bit more ownership over the decisions that you're making and so it's kind of like it's that that stage right before you're an adult so the growth is enormous yeah, and the freedom. You get some freedom in high school, which sure. is really welcome, but it comes with, you know, as you would say, responsibility. Yeah. Yes. Um, so well, how was your summer, by the way? Did you have any standout moments? Um, summer was good. It's been no standout moments. Everything's kind of blended together. You know, when you're mm -hmm. not able to really, like, go about life doing what you would normally do, it just it feels like one long, um, one long day in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do some teaching at, a, at Cambridge College as well, so I've been able to mix some of that stuff in, and that's been cool. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, normally I'm trying to fill my summers up with stuff, so this has probably been the most, um, the, the most unique kind of summer in terms of just, like, having to fill my time in ways that don't involve going out and having all of the access to the world that I normally do. So sure. a, little, a little bit more outdoor stuff this summer, actually, too, just trying to, like, get out in nature because that's one thing that has been available to us. Yeah. Uh, me too, and I, that's a huge plus, you know, slow down, I sit in the park with my kids, you know, and really, it's not something I necessarily would do other times, for whatever right. reason. Exactly. So what, what's one thing you're excited about this year, teaching remote, or uh, counseling remotely? Um, the, uh, I guess one thing that happened towards the, the end of last semester of the spring school year, um, was that I was able to start using Google Voice. And so it's just a different level of access that I have to students. Um, I think that it's something that allows communication to happen more on like uh, our agreed upon terms. So when you're in the building, the schedule's a little bit more rigid, um, some of that kind of stuff. But using Google Voice has just been able, which is like a text um, or call app service, um, has just made uh, the communication I feel more, I think feel more genuine um, and it feels more natural. And so mm. that part I really enjoy just being able to have access to people. And it's helped me to stay in touch with students over the summer, which I don't normally get to do. Normally it's like when I see you in the building again is when I see you. But because of Google Voice, we've been able to check in, see how people are doing, when stuff, there's been a lot that's happened this summer. So as stuff has happened, I've been able to check in and kind of see where people are at, what I can do to be helpful. Um, so I'm looking forward to being able to continue to do some of that kind of stuff. That's great. I love that. And I think I'll, I might uh, take that or borrow that from you. Um, yeah. because, you know, Zoom, screen time, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Sometimes it's nicer to just be on the phone talking to someone, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have to really have that extra information. It's not necess necessary all the time. And student needs to call me up for a clarification about an assignment. Sometimes the fastest way is just take a call, you know, take right. the phone call, you know? So I right. love that. Now, yeah, what were yeah. you, what were you like as a freshman in high school? How would you describe yourself? <laughs> um, I was... Let me think back on the years. Uh, kind of what I was saying um, when we first started about that mix of like excited but nervous and, and not sure um, what to expect. It is, a, you know, high school is a, a time when I think we are starting to grow and we want more responsibility. And so in some ways we may feel like we're more ready for it than we, we might be when we look back on it. So looking back on it, I can definitely say that, um, you know, I wasn't as grown as I thought I was. Uh. But as a freshman, I was feeling like, this is like, I'm ready to be in the world. I'm ready to take charge, ownership, um, make my own decisions. And was just feeling a lot more adult than I actually was. But um, yeah, 
yeah well it's but funny it, it is both right because you you're at one time you really you are it's kind of the entrance to the adult world is high school yeah yeah for sure for yeah. sure and yet it was yeah. also go ahead it was, yeah. it was interesting too because um i think it was a little bit unique for me but i always knew that i wanted to do this kind of work so i i was mm -hmm. like even back in middle school, I knew like I just had this interest in people and trying to, um, I think in some ways, particularly in, in middle school, high school age as well, I also had this experience where I was conscious that I felt misunderstood by people a lot of times. And so I always had this, this desire to kind of be in a position where I would be able to just spend time with people, develop relationships and come to understand people and, and have people come to understand me. And so that was something too, that like high school gives you an opportunity if you have a sense of maybe the kind of stuff you're into to start getting a little bit more into the, like the self-directed learning electives and stuff like that. I took a psychology course, um, which I know that we have at the high school as well. So it was an opportunity to kind of like branch out and start figuring it out what, what it is that I want to do and how I want to spend my adult life, which is big. Um, it's a big yeah. question as a freshman and, and as a high school student in general. But um, that was definitely something that I remember as well of like feeling like I, I started to have a little bit more control over who I wanted to be. Um, which was cool. It was something I've been waiting for, you know? Oh, yeah, totally. Cool. Well, thanks so much for doing this with us. Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to have Mr. Stone as your counselor, you're going to be seeing him shortly. Yeah, so thanks thank so you. much. I appreciate it, Mr. Cody. Awesome.